Hey guys, it's Erica. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Zentango square swirls, or you can say square products. So here we go. You are going to draw a bunch of squares, but when you do that, you are going to move the corner just by a little bit to the same directions. So in this case, I'm drawing clockwise. The square going turning to the right and I'm going to keep doing that until there's no space. And this is the real speed that I'm drawing and I'm almost done with the first swirl. Okay, so that was the clockwise square swirl. Now I'm going to draw counterclockwise square swirl. I started from the bottom left on the first one, so I'm starting the same location, bottom left. So that way I know which way I should go. Because the first one I started from the bottom left and went up. But this time I just started uh, from the bottom left and went right. So it's going the, the other direction. That way it's uh, easy to find out which way I should go. And now I'm almost done with my the second swirl. Pretty cool, right? In the next box, I'm going to draw clockwise square swirl. So each box, I'm going to go with the opposite direction. I don't know why I made these square grids with pencil. I could just make it with the pen, but uh, I'm sorry if it's confusing or if it's not clear. I'm going to draw it with the pen pretty soon. Now I'm checking which way I need to go. So the previous one, I went uh, from the bottom left to up. Now I'm going to from the bottom left to the right, the opposite direction. So if you start from the same, uh, same place, so in my case, bottom left, it's easy to find, find out which way I need to go. So this one, I'm doing the clockwise because I did counterclockwise on the previous one. So you just go with the opposite direction or if you don't mind or if you want to do something else, you can do all the same direction or you, you can just mix it going same, same, different or you can change the size of the square. It could be fun or you can try triangle. Now I'm gonna fast forward the video a little bit so you don't have to watch all of that with the slow pace. So I hope you have fun.
thank you for watching until the end of the video so if you keep trying you're gonna get used to it and it's gonna be easier and easier but you may get confused like I did in this video just keep on trying and there are some different shapes that you can try uh, like triangle, rectangle, trapezoid uh, pentagon and a square and you can combine those shapes together or you can just try one shape that's up to you and the sky's limit right so I hope you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching